Okay, so now that we have already prepped the dog, so we actually scrubbed, everything is prepped, put sterile gloves on. I have everything set up. My nervous stimulator is already on, and I have the needle flush here, and obviously someone's going to need to come and help me to inject this. Now, my needle is a sterile, and I'm going to use my right hand to be injecting, so I don't want to be touching anything but my needle and keep it that sterile. Obviously, when I'm using the ultrasound here that is not covered, this, my left hand is not going to be sterile. So I'm going to need to try to make sure I'm not touching the needle with my left hand, just the dirty portion of this procedure, okay? So with my probe here and using the SVAT2 from Sonocyte, I'm using this uh, uh, three and a half inch probe. I'm going to be in a transverse uh, position here. I'm going to do... Uh, I scout and notice that I'm using actually the, the position of the probe with the same direction that I'm going to be uh, injecting, penetrating with my needle. So it makes it easier for me intuitively to actually inject and watch in the same direction, okay? Now we're going to be in plane on this block. So what I'm going to do is identify my pectineus muscle, okay? And once I do that, I'm going to be coming cranially and find my vascular bundle. I'm going to fall the artery and vein. And you can tell if I collapse, you know, push a little harder on my probe, I can collapse my vein and identify which one is the vein and the artery. And I'm going to be keep coming proximally to the limb. And then what I'm trying to identify is when this uh, femoral artery will actually give up a bundle, a branch, that, you know, the circumflex branch. And this circumflex branch is going to be uh, helping me to identify my femoral nerve just medial to that structure, okay? So if you look at the hypoechoic uh, tail that I'm creating on this femoral artery, you see that just under that you have a hyperechoic, you know, structure uh, that looks like a honeycomb, and that's our femoral nerve, okay? So once I identify this image, I need to be careful to make sure I'm not injecting uh, the, uh, my local anesthetic into this vasculature, obviously. So I need to try to make it a, a little bit out of the plane of that once I identify my femoral nerve. So once I, I find my femoral nerve, I'm just going to move a little bit to the side. I'm going to get my needle. Okay, and notice that the nerve is about a centimeter uh, in depth. So I'm going to go a centimeter on the side of my leg, 